Hey guys, here we're going to be installing the Traxxas X Duty drive shafts. All right, guys, so we have these drive shafts on. Um, we have them on Beast and uh, Delta. Uh, these drive shafts are amazing. They work way better than the stock ones because the little bars in here, right there, those little bars are way thicker than the stock ones, which gives it more durability. Um, so. The, uh, another reason that we're getting these is because with the rustlers, uh, they tend to wheelie a lot, and so they need a little bit extra uh, drive sh uh, drive shaft um, durability. All right, guys. So to install these, we need we first need to remove that nut right there. All right, guys. So after you have both of the tires off, we need to remove the dust cover, and that's held on with that screw right there and that screw right there. All right, guys. After that's done, we need to remove the the pinion gear and the spur gear. The spur gear is held on with a nut right there and then the motor is held on with that screw right there and that screw right there now uh, why I you the pinion gear is um, for some people the pinion gear is too large to fit through uh, the space right here ours is actually pretty small so it can just slide right through and now if you do need to remove it it's held on with that grub screw right there with all that off we can now reach the grub screw so uh, to remove it we just remove that grub screw that the uh, screwdriver is on and for the other side the other grub screw is now uh, easily accessible with the motor off. That one is right. Let me just move this right there. All right. Well, with the old drive shafts off, we can now open the new drive shafts. <clears throat> so I've already cut them. There's one part, another part, and they do come with a little longer grub screw. Uh, if you want to replace the one that's already in there. So to reinstall these, we need to take this part. That part gets put in there, but it's actually easier if you use uh, the other part first and put that in there. So there's a hole for the grub screw, and you just line the hole up with the hole on the differential gear right in there, and then um, just push it on, and then uh, just take this part, put it onto there, and right through here. And I'll do that for each side, and I'll be right back. All right, so with the drive shaft on and the little bar put in place, you can now take, take <clears throat> your hex hub, put it on just like that, and then just take your grub screw. Oops, hard to do with one hand. And just take your grub screw and tighten it down. Now, uh, this is only if you have a grub screw. Um, some of them do not have grub screws if you have the plastic ones. And in that case, you can actually um, just uh, snap it in. Alright, guys, so after you get both of them installed. It's time to start putting this back together here. So we can put our little bar in. Let's see if I can get it. And there we go. So we got that little bar in, and then we're going to need slipper clutch assembly part here. And make sure it goes onto that bar just like that. And here's our slipper clutch plate. Put that on just like that. Hold on. Alright, there it is. So we got that on. And then we need the spur gear. Just right here. It's a 90 tooth one. And put it on just like that. Alright, now we need to take a little spring. And nut. Goes on just like that. And then we need to tighten that down, but in order to do that, we need to put the tires on. But first, let's put the motor back on. So, it's one of the screws right there. So, you just put the motor in just like this, line it up, and then install those two screws. Go right in there. 